Hi guys, I'm in Antalya right now. As you can see, this is my flat. I rent it on Airbnb and let's make a room tour. I'm in Antalya first time, but I'm not first time in Turkey and this is really my home country <laughs> because I feel so calm here, my heart is calm, my mind is calm and um, it reminds me a little bit about Ukraine, of course people different, countries different, but I don't know why I feel here really calm and like a home feelings. So I want to show you Antalya a little bit more from my eyes so you can see how I see it. It's really beautiful city and the city is well known for those people who are talking a Russian language because the diaspora of Russian people, Russian, Ukrainian, different other countries who are speaking uh, Russian language, Ukrainian language, these people really big amount. So that's why I can see on a different science really a Russian <laughs> language because um, people, just a lot of people who are talking Russian here, so it's like almost <laughs> second official for this city. streets I usually prefer to speak English. I try to practice my Turkish but I can't finish my conversation with people, with local people on Turkish because so many vocabulary that I just don't know yet. <laughs> uh, yes and sometimes I'm just stupid and um, when somebody asks me all I want to say automatically is in English because I used to live in Poland right now and um, it's easy for me automatically to say automatically to say English words, <laughs> not Turkish. At least I know some of them, but just my mind is hard to reset and just answer Turkish <laughs> so that's why I'm trying I swear I'm trying but after I'm failing at some point I continue just to talk in English and Turkish people know English language as well not everybody but um, I mean maybe 70 percentage of people really know English so it's not the problem at least uh, everybody knows yes, church language. So I bought some foods for first days and firstly eggs because I can't imagine my breakfast without eggs. Then you can see smoothie, some burek with spinach and cheese, this sweet stick which calls churchella because I'm sweet tooth milk of course for eggs and for my coffee. Iran. I love Iran and you should try if you will be in Turkey. Tuna and some sweets. 
So here you can see I'm cooking these bear eggs and it's kind of tasty, I like it. I used them instead of usual bread and for me it's okay. And I'm ready to the tea time. The next day I decided to explore the city a little bit and my first spot was Actor Park but it was closed. So near the park it was shopping center and just look at these people sitting around and enjoy their meals just around this shopping center. I think they really know how enjoy this life. Then I grabbed my coffee. It was really good and it's located in the 5M Migros and there I found this place. Then I was ready to continue explore the city and just look at these different places that I found. So my next station was Coast Lane and the Beach Line. The sea was so blue and so beautiful and I want you to hear these sounds. My small souvenir, I took it with me everywhere I go right now, like a small reminder of this Mediterranean Sea. It was a time to go back home, so I catched my bus and here is some views from the window seat. On the way home I bought some necessary things for me. Of course I'm talking about coffee because I just can't live without it. And I took two dishes to try. I decided to eat this yogurt soup right at the moment. It was really something strange but after I liked it and it was a miracle because anywhere I was I couldn't find this soup. So if you will see it, just grab it and run. You will not regret. I decided not to waste time and to spend sunset and evening 
right here on the coastline so I came back and I think it was my best decision.